Hey guys, Nick with Sellers Arena here, and I want to just record this quick video as an update to a previous video I'd made a while back about how to easily copy your Amazon PPC campaigns. Now, this is a 2024 updated edition. We'll see if Amazon continues to update things. They continually change things. And I have seen in the comments of the previous video that people have been saying, hey, that, you know, the feature you worked in, or the feature you mentioned didn't work. So they were lost and like, nice try. But actually, they just moved it. And Amazon does these things as they continually improve. And yeah, so let's just go into it and I'll show you where they actually moved the feature to. Now, if you wanna see the full in-depth of how to copy campaigns, because the, the feature still is applicable and uh, there's a lot more in-depth instruction in that and maybe use case. So I'll, I'll provide the link to that video down below if you wanna watch that video also so you have more context. But to give you a basic, let me shrink myself here. Previously, if you look here, they previously had the copy campaign feature over here on the right column. Okay, now what they've done is they've moved it to these inside these three dots here beside the campaign name. So pretty simple. They've also added a couple things along with this. So I'll show you this too, but let's say we're going to copy this one here. You just click on this. This is also where you can go to edit settings in the campaign, but let's go ahead and do copy. And just like before, okay, it's going to give you the details and everything and you know you can copy as a new sponsored product campaign so for whatever reason if you just needed most of the settings again i go over that in the previous video of like why you might want to do this so definitely check that out but yeah you can edit the start date and end date pause new campaign after creation like saying you know it has a lot of you know the previous campaign did well but you know and you want to keep those settings and you want to move it over to a new thing and test something some different variables now so that could be an option or say you want to keep this one running and i think in the previous video i was talking about doing a gold panning campaign so you might just have you know this campaign running with like a higher more aggressive bid strategy and then the other campaign may, maybe with a more conservative bid strategy okay that could be an option but either way whatever you want to do there then they've also added this option where you can take it and create as a new sponsor display campaign okay so you can select your optimization goals and we'll help you create your campaigns in a few steps okay so yeah let's say if we we're getting good success out of it and we want to go a step further and take advantage of the advancements amazon has made with sponsor display um, you can go ahead and do that so increase impressions increase page views depending on what you're looking for there uh, we won't go into in depth on the features of sponsored display right now. That, that's another video as again, they've built out quite a bit on that over the past year or two. Uh, but let's say we want to increase page views. So we go here, it gives you a summary of what's going on. So you can read through this basically based on your sponsored product campaign. Uh, we pre-selected one cam one product to advertise along with some basic settings of your product sponsored display campaigns. You can change these settings after you launch your campaign. So that's always good. Then it gives you the campaign settings, etc. You can make sure that looks good. And it also says we've chosen a product to advertise based on your previous campaign and use these products to showcase in your ad. And then it shows you the targeting. And again, once you get this set up, it's going to you know, it says it's already added five keyword or attribute targets. Okay, so you can then go in and edit if needed afterwards. Okay, so that was just, we won't go ahead and launch this one. I don't wanna do that right now. So we'll go ahead and go back, get out of that. And yeah, the main reason, just show you that additional feature that they've added along with the copy campaign feature, but also just so you guys know where that feature is if you were lost on trying to do that. Because again, this feature can help you with your productivity uh, and that's always good when you're trying to manage Amazon PPC because it is a monster sometimes. All right, hope that helps guys. Let me know if you have any additional questions down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.